A Course in Miracles, Urtext Manuscripts, Complete 7 Volume Combined Edition, Volume 2, The Workbook, Part 2, Section 13. What is a miracle? A miracle is a correction. It does not create nor really change at all. It merely looks on devastation and reminds the mind that what it sees is false. It undoes error, but does not attempt to go beyond perception, nor exceed the function of forgiveness. Thus it stays within time's limits, yet it paves the way for the return of timelessness and love's awakening, for fear must slip away under the gentle remedy it gives. A miracle contains the gift of grace, for it is given and received as one, and thus it illustrates the law of truth the world does not obey, because it fails entirely to understand its ways. A miracle inverts perception which was upside down before, and thus it ends the strange distortions that were manifest. Now is perception open to the truth, Now is forgiveness seen as justified. Forgiveness is the home of miracles. The eyes of Christ deliver them to all they look upon in mercy and in love. Perception stands corrected in his sight, and what was meant to curse has come to bless. Each lily of forgiveness offers all the world the silent miracle of love, and each is laid before the word of God upon the universal altar to creator and creation in the light of perfect purity and endless joy the miracle is taken first on faith because to ask for it implies the mind has been made ready to conceive of what it cannot see and does not understand yet faith will bring its witnesses to show that what it rested on is really there And thus the miracle will justify your faith in it and show it rested on a world more real than what you saw before, a world redeemed from what you thought you saw. Miracles fall like drops of healing rain from heaven on a dry and dusty world where starved and thirsty creatures came to die. Now they have water. Now the world is green and everywhere the signs of life spring up to show that what is born can never die for what was life has immortality lesson 341 i can attack but my own sinlessness and it is only that which keeps me safe father your son is holy I am he on whom you smile in love and tenderness, so deep and dear, and still the universe smiles back on you and shares your holiness. How pure, how safe, how sacred, then, are we abiding in your smile with all your love bestowed upon us, living one with you in brotherhood and fatherhood complete, in sinlessness so perfect that the Lord of sinlessness conceives us as his Son, a universe of thought completing him. Let us not, then, attack our sinlessness, for it it contains the word of God to us. In its kind reflection we are saved. Lesson 342 I let forgiveness rest upon all things, for thus forgiveness will be given me. I thank you, Father, for your plan to save me from the hell I made. It is not real, and you have given me the means to prove its unreality to me. The key is in my hand, and I have reached the door beyond which lies the end of dreams. I stand before the gate of heaven, wondering if I should enter in and be at home. Let me not wait again today. Let me forgive all things and let creation be as you would have it be. And as it is, let me remember that I am your son and opening the door at last. Forget illusions in the blazing light of truth as memory of you returns to me. Brother, forgive me now. I come to you to take you home with me. 
And as we go, the world goes with us on the way to God. Lesson 343. I am not asked to make a sacrifice to find the mercy and the peace of God. The end of suffering cannot be loss. The gift of everything can but be gain. You only give, you never take away, and you created me to be like you. So sacrifice becomes impossible for me as well as you. I too must give, and so all things are given unto me forever and forever. As I was created, I remain. Your son can make no sacrifice, for he must be complete, having the function of completing you. I am complete because I am your son. I cannot lose, for I can only give, and everything is mine eternally. The mercy and the peace of God are free. Salvation has no cost. It is a gift that must be freely given and received, and it is this that we would learn today. Lesson 344 Today I learned the law of love, that what I give to my brother is a gift to me. This is your law, my father, not my own. I did not understand what giving means, and thought to save what I desired for myself alone. And as I looked upon the treasure which I thought I had, I found an empty place where nothing ever was, or is, or will ever be. Who can share a dream? And what can an illusion offer me? Yet he whom I forgive will give me gifts beyond the worth of anything on earth. Let my forgiven brothers fill my store with heaven's treasures, which alone are real. Thus is the law of love fulfilled, and thus your son arises and returns to you. How near we are to one another as we go to God. How near is he to us. How close the ending of the dream of sin and the redemption of the Son of God. Lesson 345 I offer only miracles today, for I would have them be returned to me. Father, a miracle reflects your gifts to me, your Son, and every one is I give returns to me, reminding me the law of love is universal. Even here it takes a form which can be recognized and seen to work. The miracles I give are given back in just the form I need to help me with the problems I perceive. Father, in heaven it is different, for there there are no needs. But here on earth the miracle is closer to your gifts than any other gift which I can give. Let me give this gift alone today, which, born of true forgiveness, lights the way that I must travel to remember you. Peace to all seeking hearts today. The light has come to offer miracles to bless the tired world. It will find rest today, for we will offer what we have received. Lesson 346. Today the peace of God envelops me, and I forget all things except his love. Father, I wake today with miracles correcting my perception of all things. And so begins a day I share with you as I will share eternity. For time is stepped aside today. I do not seek the things of time, and so I will not look upon them. What I seek today transcends all laws of time and things perceived in time. I would forget all things except your love. I would abide in you and know no laws except your law of love. And I would find the peace which you created for your son, forgetting all the foolish toys I made as I behold your glory and my own. And when the evening comes today, we will remember nothing but the peace of God. For we will learn today what peace is ours when we forget all things except God's love. Lesson 
Lesson 347 Anger must come from judgment. Judgment is the weapon I would use against myself to keep all miracles away from me. Father, I want what goes against my will and do not want what is my will to have. Straighten my mind, my Father, it is sick. But you have offered freedom and I choose to claim your gift today. And so I give all judgment to the one who gave me to judge for me. He sees what I behold and yet knows the truth. He looks on pain and yet he understands it is not real. And in his understanding it is healed. He gives the miracles my dreams would hide from my awareness. Let him judge today. I will not do my will. I do not know my will. But he is sure it is your own, and he will speak for me and call your miracle to come to me. Listen today, and be very still, and hear the gentle voice for God, assuring you that he has judged you as the son he loves. Lesson 348 I have no cause for anger or for fear, for you surround me, and in every need that I perceive, your grace suffices me. Father, let me remember you are here, and I am not alone. Surrounding me is everlasting love. I have no cause for anything except the perfect peace and joy I share with you. What need have I for anger or for fear? Surrounding me is perfect safety. Can I be afraid when your eternal promise goes with me? Surrounding me is perfect sinlessness. What can I fear when you created me in holiness as perfect as your own? God's grace suffices us in everything that he would have us do, and only that we choose to be our will as well as his. Lesson 349. Today I let Christ's vision look upon all things for me, and judge them not, but give each one a miracle of love instead. So would I liberate all things I see, and give, it, give to them the freedom that I seek, for thus do I obey the law of love, and give what I would find and make my own. It will be given me because I have chosen it as the gift I want to give. Father, your gifts are mine. Each one that I accept gives me a miracle to give. And giving as I would receive, I learned your healing miracles belong to me. Our Father knows our needs. He gives us grace to meet them all. And so we trust in him to send us miracles to bless the world and heal our minds as we return to him. Lesson 350 Miracles mirror God's eternal love. To offer them is to remember him and through his memory to save the world. What we forgive becomes a part of us as we perceive ourselves. The Son of God incorporates all things within himself as you created him. Your memory depends on his forgiveness. What he is is unaffected by his thoughts. But what he looks upon is their direct result. Therefore, my Father, I would return to you. Only your memory will set me free. And only my forgiveness teaches me to let your memory return to me and give it to the world in thankfulness. And as we gather miracles from him, we will indeed be grateful. For as we remember him, his son will be restored to us in the reality of love. 